Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 2 of Mountain Blade Warband. Wow, it's costing us uh, 15 bucks only, so we're okay. So we're doing an economics uh, gameplay focused, uh, I think, to answer uh, questions uh, I have been receiving regarding how do we build up a good economic base to support our ability to conquer the world. Whoa, eight bucks, nine bucks, 32? No, that's too much money, 10 bucks. So we have, a, uh, so these ones, we can actually sell them for better prices once we get to Sharia's, right? Remember they were like selling grain for about 30 bucks or something? So, okay. Um, buy supplies yep and we are not recruiting people here so again these are the villages that we have to visit and they will give us and this happens every week meaning uh, the supplies of the villages re uh, respawn after every week so so right now, while people aren't fighting each other yet, they are a good place to buy stuff for more. 32? Wow, that's just a lot of money. Uh, so we're not getting anything from this village. Uh, huh. And Swedia is in the middle of the entire kingdom here. I mean... It, of this entire continent so Swedia will be involved in a ton of warfare and so we we should make use of the our ability to buy stuff like this three bucks Ooh, ouch no 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 okay uh, early in the game So green is actually one of the better commodities to trade in. And we are circling the central part of Swedia, or not, the, the center part, Dirim, is the very center of the whole continent. So we'll get to Toshdar, we'll go to Emirim. Ouch, attack the bandits. I don't think we want to do that because uh, the bandits are very tough. Infested by 13 bandits. No, we're not going to do that. Uh, once we are stronger, we will do that. And every time we help a village, uh, we get like 7 points. seven points of favor and when we do that they ooh like wow that means they become very friendly with us so anytime we recruit from those villages that are favorable to us uh we get more people more recruits i mean so from here then we can go to uh let's go to the tavern Ransom broker, guard. I don't think we have anybody. Okay, go to the goods merchant. So we have 406 dinars and we can sell all of these things. at. A, so we can now sell them at 24 bucks. We bought them at 10 bucks, right? And so the thing to buy here would be, ooh, the bread is expensive. Wow, the bread here is expensive. Uh, I was hoping to buy good bread from these guys. Okay, we, we're we not getting any business here. Uh, how about arms merchant? We need to get... Ooh, ouch. 
A better shield? No, no, no. Okay. Ah, okay. Um, I'm tempted to buy better armor, but uh, we don't have the dough. So, <laughs> okay. Um, so if we just sell the goods here, we can actually make good enough money already, right? Uh, if we sell the goods here, uh, we're getting twenty-four bucks. I think let us uh, wait a bit. Uh, I think we'll get better prices in uh, the Sultanate area. Ushkuru. Three forty. Yeah, we'll buy that. Then we can go to Tadsamesh. So apparently, if we check on the factions, apparently the uh, Swedians are already at war. Uh, Swedia has no. Oh yeah, is that uh, is that war with the Kyrgyz Khanate? So there will be a bunch of lootings. Nice. So we are we are sitting on a lot of cash right now. Uh and we can come down to Amir. And we need to be careful we don't meet up with uh like a strong band of looters or we will lose all our cash. So we need to keep an eye on these on these things. Wow, that's a strong party. Hold on. So I guess it would be a good idea to save <laughs> because we are currently yeah, we have a ton of cash. And okay, let's save this on here. Y'all had in. Who's this guy? Yes, eleven. Ouch. No, that's expensive. Okay. Um, dried meat. So look at that. We have so much, and each one is worth about, you know, what thirty bucks or something. Okay, and from there, okay, we can come to Arduna. And since the these guys are fighting the Kyrgyz, Swedian versus the Kyrgyz Khanates, uh, Arduna hopefully is has not yet been raided. And we can we are barely moving because we have so much inventory. Once we have more money, we will improve our troops. So these are all expensive. No, uh, okay. Then we can head downwards towards uh, Tashkulun. 
Sometimes they have cheap uh, leather. I don't think we will get anything out of uh, the Kyrgyz Canada right now. Uh, once we have invested in uh, leather works in Nara, then we can visit these villages in Kyrgyz Canada and hopefully get, see like they have good leather here. Uh, we can still buy this. And um, see, it costs us 16, so we can sell those things in Nara. So Nara would be one of the best place to invest in uh, leatherworks. Because you have Tashkulun, Yagush, and Kadelki. They sometimes have leather there, and we can use that. I mean, uh, they are AC source of uh, relatively cheap leather so that the leather works in Nara will always make kind of make money but right now we are more interested in selling uh, the grain that we picked up let's go to the tavern to see if we can pick up Jeremy a ransom broker Katrin Let's go to the marketplace. Look at how much we can sell it for. 30 bucks. Twenty-nine bucks. Uh arms. Wow, balance two hundred saber. Temper Nordic Sword. Sheesh. We need a really good shield. Okay. Uh, okay, let's leave. I don't think we'll find anything Kadelki. You know, just let's just visit it. We're we're on our way because again we are we are on an economics basis or we are on a trading mission but right now uh, we're too weak to go up north because up north we can actually sell the grains for a better price oh 19 this one look at this this is 672 ouch wow i would love to buy these but uh i don't go up north and oh no we cannot uh 19 no they're too expensive for us although we might regret it that 19 actually uh we'll still make money out of that 19 okay let's buy the 19 and 20 and then let's go to yalmar see we cannot sell a lot of stuff at the same time because every item with every transaction we make uh, the price starts going down or it goes up when we're buying oh Riva Chegg has been by Jarl oh by the Nords huh and we need to be careful so I think uh, once we have enough money it might make sense for us to promote our people Palmar. Who's this? Oh, a watchman. Uh, goods marketplace. Okay, let's sell. Hopefully, the better prices. Yeah, look at that. 42, 41. 41, 40, 39, 38. We got a 581 now. Okay. <laughs> so that's why just making one round is already so good. Masterwork of oh, Strongbow. 
Uh, so we are we are now ahead of where we started from where we started. Then from here we can go back down to Darkuba. Oh, let's just check Mazig. Mazig, I normally don't have very good uh, results in Mazig. Twenty-three grain. Oh, date fruits. These are, I think, these are good prices. Wow, that is a big kick from. I think we'll still make money out of this twenty-three. Okay, let's pass by Sectum. And if we stumble across looters, we will take tackle take them on. Wow, I we can't catch those guys. Yeah, we can't catch those guys. Leave. <laughs> it's infested by 13 bandits. No, we are not in a position to help them out. And then from here, we will go on uh, eastward to Amirad. Or, or we can go all the way back to Shiriz. Reason being that Wow, okay. Uh, that's dangerous. Yeah, I'm worried about that 14 uh, uh, bandits. They, I think they can take us on. <laughs> Who's this guy? Farmer? Traveler? Artimanor, Watchman, okay, um, go to the marketplace, hopefully, yeah, we're making money on this one, we'll make money on that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one, right? So we're making... 589 You know we should have sold the these Uh Okay, uh, so we have a ton of cash now. <laughs> we have close to a thousand bucks now. Okay, let's just check our inventory. Yeah, we have just under 800 bucks. Uh, so that means we can improve our party. Nine can be upgraded to footman. Let's do that. Or no, 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 cancel. Uh, let's wait for the next... Uh... Yeah, let's wait for the next one. How many... We still have a ton of... Let's go to Tamnu. And maybe we can recruit, uh, let's say, four more people or five more people. So we'll have a total of 20. 
79.37. No, those are still expensive. Okay, we have 18 people now. Yeah, they're going at 6.5 and look at our speed, 5.2. Buy supplies, 118, 94. Look at this, these, all this silk, you know. <laughs> okay, we are at 21. I think that's the maximum we will have at this point in time. Uh, Samara Castle. Oh, 23, because that includes ourselves. I'm looking for Jeremus. Look at this. Oh, no, it was 128. Okay, okay, that's still expensive. Yeah, that's still expensive. We can go to Amarad. Again, visiting all the villages, uh, we might uh, stumble across. And we have, we're like 23, so we're not too weak anymore. I mean, uh, pure numbers alone is a big factor in this game in that uh, bandits will not, will avoid us if uh, they can. Unless they're like numbering 30 plus or something. Okay, let's visit the tavern. I'm looking for Jeremus. Ransom broker. Goods merchant. Um, wow, 32 only? Ouch. Wow, why is that? Oh, uh, at least we're still making some money. So the that's why the best place to source our income is just trading on grain from the Swedian uh, area. And here we are just exploring most of the villages that we come across. So here in Uzga, Taj, Tajmat, and Unria, it's possible that we will stumble across dice that are extremely cheap. Hopefully like in the 42 bucks or something. Because if we do, we can sell them close to Dirim at about 112 or something. So that will make a good price. Ooh. So the Sultanate is about to take on somebody because that's on the warpath when they grew up like group up like that. Leather works. Pottery is okay. I think we can buy a couple of these. At 59? No, no, I think that's... I know sell them for about 90 in the Almar area. Or we can swap them for... No, that's only 20 bucks here? Oh, no, 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 no. Uzga. Taj Jumat. So we should have gone to Shariz. I think in the Shariz area, that's where our grain was will get us more dollar uh, dinars. 106. Oh, 132. Oh, they're still expensive. Ouch. Okay. 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 Uh, let's go to Unria.
See, that's the reason why I have not. Uh, I'm waiting for the whole week to pass before we improve uh, the nine people in our team before we promote them. 88. 148, 148, no, uh, no. Fishara, Barie. And the earlier we have people who can fight, like our companions, the better off we are. 142, 93. Wow, we're not getting any any good deals here. Jeez. Now I don't know what kind of business we can invest in Barrie, uh, because I don't know of a good business. I've I've invested in the past. Uh, I've thought about using you know as a bakery or something. The problem is that we have to bring the grains here, and it takes like forever to bring them over. Because it's so far away, and if we look at the marketplace, they don't have anything really good. Oh, except salt. Salt. Uh, yes, salt is good. Spice. Uh, salt maybe. We'll buy one. Wow, one sixty-eight to one ninety-eight. No. Uh, that's a huge jump. Nope. 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 Date fruit. Maybe invest here in a winery. No, it's still expensive. How much can we sell these? Oh, 29. No. Uh, okay, let's just sell one. Wow, there's no good. I don't. Yeah, I I, I think we should have gone uh, west westward towards Shiriz. We're not getting any good deals. And what we're trying, but the key is is still the uh, Swedian area. So that should be, we should go back there after going to Shiriz. That's where we should go. Fish, wow, two one six, wow. Okay, uh, I guess this would be a good place to cut the episode right here. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you'll join me in the next episode. Bye.